Here comes Emil Heskey bringing out the championship trophy, which will be very shortly lifted by Sophie Barker and all those girls that have been so fantastic this season. Here he is putting it on the plinth there, and it, it's about to see, we're about to see the fruition of, of what's been an excellent season. Emil Heskey there clapping the girls because of, of how brilliant they've been. What we're going to see now is, is the players individually come up and, and collect their medals and head up to the podium where they'll be lifting that trophy and, and they'll, they'll see these pictures, they'll see these videos for, for the rest of their life, won't they? No yeah. matter what happens in their career, no matter what they go on to win, no matter what they hopefully go on to win with LCFC women, that they'll always have this memory. They will, they will. I think the, only, the biggest shame today is that their friends and family can't be here in the stadium watching them. Um, but you know, hopefully they're watching them from from home. But yeah, this is this is a memory. Uh, you know, I, I've I've always said that, you know, the career of a footballer is short. Um, so actually, it's about remembering these moments and and really relishing these moments, being with your team. You know, winning things with your team, being successful, and enjoying it. Yeah, they're each individually coming up. There's Millie Farrow now going to collect her medal. She's got WSL experience. She'll be one of the players that they'll be leaning on to. Uh, for her advice and, and what she can bring the Foxes next season, of course, in, in the top division. Yeah, they've got a really good balance, haven't they, Lester? There's someone you've played with there, Liv Ferguson. She's got a big smile on her face. I'm sure you're proud of, of all these girls, aren't you? Really, really proud. Um, yeah, you, you know, the, the, the ones that I know, I know how much the, this would uh, this will be meaning to them. I mean, I, I don't think I've ever seen Liv without a smile, to be honest. She's a very, very happy person and, and, and player, which is great. So she loves her football, and, and she, she is one of those that just enjoys every minute. There's another one of the uh, the January arrivals, Sophie Harris, the goalkeeper, Libby Smith, uh, Leicester girl. She's coming up, and, and I mean, the memories for everybody, but particularly for, for the, the Leicester yeah. native girls, Remy Allen, Libby Smith. Ashley Plumtro, who've, who've been fantastic all season, and here comes Leah Cataldo. She'll have been disappointed she uh, she wasn't in the starting eleven today. She she um, played against Lewis last weekend, of course, and it has looked quite good towards the back end of the season. Yeah, but uh, yeah, definitely. not to be today. Esme de Graff's had a, a fantastic season. I mean, they've all had uh, brilliant seasons, but Esme de Graff, especially that mm -hmm. after signing from West Ham, as we said earlier, she scored that absolute thunderbolt. Uh, of a goal in that 7-0 uh, victory earlier on in the season against London Bees. Here comes Hannah Kane, two goal score, two goal scores, or two goals that she scored rather today. Uh, Hannah Kane, she'll be happy she's got a medal. Demi Lambo, what a moment that was for her. Uh, she came on with uh, about 10 minutes to go for her first appearance this season. She's been uh, plagued by injuries and, mm -hmm. and obviously had uh, this girl in front of her, Kirsty Lavelle, uh, who's been excellent in goals. For, yeah. for Leicester City this season. Really, really good. There's Sophie Howard. Big smile from Sophie Howard. Again, another composed performance from her at right back. Here's Sam Tierney now. She scored some vital goals this season uh, for the Foxes. Three of them, in fact. She got them both in the vital 2-0 win over Durham in March and then scored again in the Championship, securing victory. Here comes Jonathan Morgan now getting his medal. Big smile, big thumbs up from Jonathan Morgan. He's clearly extremely popular, as is this girl, Ashley Plumtree. It, it means an awful lot. I think we all saw the interview that she gave after mm -hmm. the, the game that they, they secured the title. It's uh, absolutely fantastic. And last but not least, or second to last, is, is Remy Allen. She's coming up and collecting it, as is Sophie Barker, the Leicester City captain, in a season where they only turned professional eight months ago. In that time, they've broken records, beaten all before them, and now they can finally be crowned the FA Women's Championship champions. season it's been for LCFC women, their debut season as a professional outfit, as a, a team under the LCFC family and boy have they delivered. And here comes Sophie Barker again to lift the trophy in front of all those girls that have worked so hard this season 
to go up and they'll be playing WSL football next season as champions of the Women's Championship. I mean, that was just brilliant, wasn't it? What a moment uh, to be here to watch that. Um, I mean, it, it makes me laugh, and when, especially when the, cha the champagne comes out, everyone starts running off, don't they? Running away from each other. But yeah, what a moment. This will mean the world to every single player and member of staff here. They've, they've really earned it. There's Jonathan, who was absolutely covered in champagne in, in the game where they secured the title. It looks as if he's been covered again here. Uh, he looks great in his suit, doesn't he? It's covered in champagne at the moment. I'm sure he wants to get his hands on that trophy very shortly. There, there's a few of the girls that are, are lying in that confetti that, that's been put out, and it, it's just been excellent, including the captain there, Sophie Barker and, and Santini, two of, of the most influential players. For different reasons, one a centre-half, one a centre-midfielder, but, but they've been brilliant, those two. But both signing, of course, from Sheffield United. Yeah, and I think that you know the sign of a good team when when everybody fulfills their role, take you know takes on the responsibilities, roles and responsibilities, and I think every player in this Leicester squad has this season, and that's why again they've done so well. We are the champions. Blasts around King Power Stadium, and look at the smile on Jonathan Morgan's face. He's one happy man, isn't he? He's he's coached this team so brilliantly this season. He's. He's had a, a lot of difficulties, I'm sure, as any manager has to deal with injuries, with suspensions, with players that will feel they should have been in the starting lineup when they're not, but he's got so many good players, he can only fit 11 in a, a starting 11. So he's, he's had to manage all sorts yeah. this season. It's, it's a real difficult job, isn't it? Because it's not just the fun stuff that you, you have to do. Like I say, it's player, it's player management. It's making sure that you give you know, every player the support that they need to be able to perform, to play well, but also to give players the support if they're not playing. And, uh, you know, it's a really, really difficult balance um, to keep everybody happy in camp. And it, it looks like he's done a fantastic job of doing that. I think now it's selfie time, isn't it? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely there, Hannah Kane.